All right, so that was sensation. So now let's talk about threshold. Okay, what, what do you guys remember from class what threshold means? What's the basic definition? Good, yeah, so action potential. So threshold is basically saying it's the minimum amount of a stimulus intensity needed for an individual to, for, for, for an effect to happen, any effect. And because there's different kinds of thresholds, there's different kinds of, you know, effects that can happen. So there's thresholds of perception, where below that threshold we won't perceive anything, won't comprehend it, above that we will. There's thresholds for pain, whereas, you know, Below that threshold, we won't feel pain. Above that, we will. So just general definition of threshold is the intensity required, the minimum intensity required for, for an effect to happen. So let's talk about the first kind of threshold the MCAT's going to require you to know. And this is the absolute threshold. So the absolute threshold, or also could be called uh, lemon. Uh, lemon being the German term for threshold is um, the minimum amount of a stimulus intensity required for an individual to recognize or detect a stimulus 50% of the time. And this is hinged, this is um, dependent on the fact that the stimulus is long enough to activate the sensory system. So let's look at this in a graph. Because um, as you guys will find out, graphs are very popular on the MCAT exam. So if this was a graph and we had percent of the time on the y-axis, and this is, would be either speed or sound in decibels or milliseconds, for example. So if we're talking about absolute threshold, we're talking about detecting the stimulus 50% of the time. So, and, and you know, this, this is going to be a certain speed or a certain sound. You know, sound, I think, is, is going to be about 30 uh, decibels for, for hearing. Um, and, you know, other, other examples of absolute thresholds are, you know, for sight, it's going to be a, um, I think they did a test, it's, it's a candle 30 miles away on a dark night uh, would be the absolute threshold for, for sight. So, you know, we can detect that half of the time, half the kind of time we can't. And so, um, so in these tests, to, to test what, you, what the threshold is, they're, they're going to give you, you know, either audio or, or, or video, visual messages and, and see how you respond to that. See if you answer correctly at least half the time. So and it's going to look something like this, just a rough, rough graph here. but. Um, so this is going to correlate, so 50% of the time, if you have a, uh, a visual or an, an, an auditory message delivered to you, half the time you're going you're gonna to pick that up, detect it at this speed or at this sound. Okay. Now, if it's less than half, this is what we talk about with subliminal perception. So this is subliminal perception. And typically in this example especially, uh, this is when the, um, the visual message is just too short, it's too fast, or it's just it's not loud enough. And um, as you can see here, so this is where the lemon comes in, right? So this is below threshold for perception. And uh, so this would be anything 49% or less. And this correlates with subliminal messages, which if you guys you know familiar with that term, subliminal messages, at least heard about it. So subliminal messages are basically dealing with messages that are just too short to, um, or too subtle. And there's a whole, whole, whole conspiracy theory about this back in the 50s with uh, market researchers named James Vickery, who uh, basically put uh, messages up in the top right hand screen of a, of a movie theater telling movie theaters to go uh, uh, drink coca-cola and eat popcorn it was a very interesting interesting study done and for years people believed it but actually uh, turned out that it wasn't done and that there is no study that shows that subliminal perception would actually influence behavior like many thought it would 
uh, because these messages reach the brain unconsciously. And because of that, we don't, you know, we don't perceive it. So, so again, absolute threshold is, is hinging on the fact that it's going to be long enough for the sensory systems to be activated. But this is just basically telling us how loud, how bright, how you know, hot something needs to be for us to fill it. Um, or, or, you know, or just perceive it. And, um, and anything below that, so perceive that 50% of the time. Anything below that is going to be subliminal perception.